What's up everybody, welcome back to your first Minecraft modding tutorial, hopefully maybe you've been around there. Um, but first of all, you're going to need to watch my actually my first video on how to set up MCP, which is kind of important. Um, go watch that and come back. This is just the Minecraft coder pack and all that good stuff. But if you watch that video, you're good to go. Second of all, I am kind of sick, so if you hear any Snuffleupagus in the background, um, then um, that's actually me on the mic. Snuffling, snuffle up stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, let's get started. So, um, assuming, um, of course, you already have the JDK installed, go to the source file or the SRC file, go into Minecraft, go into net, go into Minecraft, go into source, and now you're in all of these previously class files. Um, this just broke it down so you can actually read it. Now, assuming, of course, you have the JDK installed. You will we'll have that. You will be able to read all these. So if we wanted to go to the achievement.java, we can read this. Look at all of this good stuff, and um, so on and so forth. Anyways, um, first of all, you don't want to delete anything. You don't know that you're deleting. So if I accidentally deleted this, we'll get an error. Um, let's put that back, actually, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, no, I don't want to save it. Um, so don't delete anything because chances are it's probably important. All right, now that I have thrown out some disclaimers, let's go into our block.java, which is not too far down from the top. Open that up. Actually, let's open it up with um, Notepad++. I recommend you actually download Notepad++, uh, Notepad++ for this. That'll be in the description. Um, highly recommended. Um, anyways, now we see a whole block of text. If we scroll down, this is the top. We scroll down until we hit the block of text. Um, now this is for each individual block. Um, this gives it its certain properties. Um, we're just going to be working with grass and stone for this tutorial. Um, this is just your simple, simple mod. Um, we're just going to be changing some stuff up and not adding anything. So first of all, let me just explain what you're seeing here. Um, you're seeing stone equals so the block stone equals new block blah blah. This you don't have to worry about. Set hardness. The hardness means how long it will take for you to break the block, even with a pick, with your fist, or whatever. So, 1.5 is the default, but if we wanted to change that to 4.5, it would make it harder. And I'm also going to do that to grass, which is currently 0.6. Let's add a 3 to that. Um, now, this just means, um, you know, the hardness, how long it will take for you to break it. Now, with a certain pick, I can't tell you... Um, how to fix that in this tutorial because that's not what this tutorial is about but um, that'll be a later tutorial on how to add items and all that good stuff um, anyway so that's how that's what the set hardness means is just you know how long it will take for you to break it the resistance up here for stone that grass actually doesn't have resistance um, the resistance is basically if a TNT or a creeper goes off um, how much it will not break. For instance, obsidian is really high, so it almost will not break. Actually, it won't break. Um, and, you know, other stuff like that. So if you wanted to say you were tired of the idiot creepers always blowing your crap up, you could go down to cobblestone and you could change the resistance to... Um, nine, 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 nine. And that means it'll virtually never blow up. Um, you know, it, well, obviously it won't because nothing in the game can generate that high of a thing. Um, so, so let's just change for this tutorial. Um, actually, no, I won't even be really messing with the resistance that much because I won't be able to demonstrate it to you in any way. Um, but that's not the point. Actually, you know what, I will, but we're going to have to take a pause there. Um, and then the set step sound. Now, the step sound is basically when you walk across of it, uh, and when you walk across it, you hear the stone that you're familiar with. But we're going to change for stone. We'll change. So all we have to do is go to the end the these parentheses. Um, it says sound and then stone, then footstep. Remove the stone or highlight it and then just type in glass. Now this means um, it's going to be, you know, the, when we walk over, we're going to hear almost glass with a capital G. Um, now you can um, see what certain things are. So if we wanted to see... Like, what is it when we walk over tall grass? And it'll say sound grass footsteps. So if we wanted to change that to grass, we could just type in grass instead of glass. Wow, that's like a tongue twister. Um, so, yeah, that's how you change the sound when you step on it. And then right here, the block name stone, we're going to change that to 
the Angry Panda TV. So whenever it's in your inventory, for instance, and you put your mouse over it, it normally says stone, but now it will say the Angry Panda TV, which is kind of cool. Now we're also going to change um, its uh, – actually, let's just change the R here so we don't have to waste our time. Um, yeah, we're going to change it for grass since chances are we're going to spawn on grass. Um, but, you know, you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, so, yeah, that's just, you know, me demonstrating. And we'll change grass to, um, let's just change the name to, hello, my name is Bobby. So, um, <laughs> Bobby. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, so now when we put our cursor over that, it'll say, hello, my name is Bobby. Um, and you know what? Let's change the hardness for grass to. Um, actually, let's change it really low, and we'll just put 0 0.1 because I don't know if we can do 0, 0.0 exact. I don't know we can, so we can do 0, 0.0. Um, and for dirt, we'll just put the hardness to. Uh, what did I do? Four. Oh no, the actual hardness to four. Okay, there we go. So that means um, I'm just going to demonstrate how light I can make grass and how easy it can be to break. And then I'll change the dirt, which will be right under that to four. So it's pretty difficult. So there we go. Now now that we actually let's change the dirt to um, Ola in a very bad spelling. Me, oh, me, go. Terrible spelling, of course. I am white, as you can probably tell. All right. So now what we're going to do is simply save it and uh, go in back to our uh, main directory of MCP and click recompile.bats and any minute now it'll load up do 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 and then it'll say done now if you did anything wrong you should get an error here and then all we have to do is click reumpenskate.bat alright it's a big word and it'll reumpenskate our files, which will basically means um, it will make it uh, whatever we change into a class file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our uh, I almost said the wrong thing. We're gonna go into our reump folder and then go into our Minecraft folder, and we see our class. Hey, look, it's Spybot Search and Destroy, and hey, look, it's freaking Norton running into me in a certain video. I'm gonna pause this, um, and for some reason. Um, it's it's being stupid and it finally decides to actually run so I'm gonna pause it and I will be right back. All right, I'm back and uh, well that pause break happened. I took the liberty of opening up my dot Minecraft folder. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to bin and open up our jar. And this is the same installing anything. So if you still have a blank thing, um, you will need to delete your dot Minecraft. I mean your um, meta imp. But this is my uh, quote mega build um silent um for all of my mega builds so let's just drag and drop that class into your jar and exit out of that now what we can do is open minecraft and i'm going to pause it and um open it up so you know you don't have to see any blue bars or anything like that so i'll be right back all right everyone um welcome back and i'm actually going to turn down my sound um but anyways so welcome back and uh, now we're going to actually test out our mod um, so as you can see, I gave myself some items. First of all, we're going to look at how easy it is to break. And also, what we hear in the background, which you obviously can't hear, is um, we hear the sound of glass breaking, um, which is what we set it to in our um, folder. So that's cool. We can instantly break. Um, obviously, you can do this to whatever you feel like, whatever block you feel like. Maybe you don't want to wait for obsidian. So bam, you can do this, which is super cool. And then we'll also see that our dirt takes freaking forever to dig, and there's a dog outside, but forever to dig with our fist. All right, and then also if we open up our inventory, it says, Hola, mi amigo, um, and actually the title, I must have deleted something, um, but you get the point, right? Um, it says, Hola, mi amigo, um, and now let's give us some grass so we can actually see this. Um, it says, hola, mi, oh, hola, my name is Bobby. Now, I actually must have messed something up. Um, maybe uh, we weren't supposed to actually add a space there, but no matter. Um, you know, you get the point anyways um, that we can change stuff. Now, what was the last thing we did? Oh, yeah, we changed stone to super hard or resistant um, and everything. As you can see, we got some Pokemon running around and all that good stuff. So, um, 
first of all, we hear, well, I hear glass, you guys don't. And let's just place a couple TNTs here. And uh, let's get the poo out of here. Um, oh, come on. Ah, uh, of course there would be dirt right above me. Alright, so um, let's just do this and place this and run for our lives. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. So, as we can see, the stone is not harmed whatsoever. Do you see a stone block around here? I don't see a stone block around here. So, that is just proof. And that island is super cool up there. But, um, that is just proof that, um, we did everything properly except for that title, which was a fluke. And I'm actually going to go examine that. But, anyways, um, that's a quick tutorial on how to do stuff like a boss in, um, modding Minecraft. If you did like and if you didn't know about any of this information, um, please leave a like and expect more modding tutorials in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. If you want to fix that name problem, uh, try not adding any spaces. That might be a problem. Um, or maybe I accidentally deleted um, a, like a quote mark or something. I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.